cannabis or hashish, marijuana, all are different ways of drugs usually using. And we have same is substance use effect and it is characterized by two of the following symptoms of usually present two hours of the using injected or redness in conjunctiva the conjunctiva become red appetite is better than normal so increase the appetite dry mouth and the market increase in heart rate the cannabis use is sometimes intoxication leading to perceptual hallucination so sometimes there is hallucination with the use is with overdose when stopping the drug the, as we say before there is no physical symptoms but we have psychological symptoms so three or more of the following is manifestation it lead to what is called cannabis withdrawal symptom mood swing and decree and increased irritability and anxiety market nervousness sleep problems like uh, inability to initiate or difficult to sleep uh, disturbing dreams, reduction in the appetite and associated with weight loss, restlessness, and sometimes we have, uh, and limited time, we have tremors and sweatings. Smoking and smoking, smoking nicotine, and nicotine is very addictive substance. It may be sometimes considered the most addictive substance worldwide, and it has many manifestations, many complications like stroke, addiction and leading to effect for the heart, for the lung, for the liver cancer, kidney and urinary bladder and so on. All these are caused by substance nicotine. The tobacco withdrawal symptoms and this tobacco withdrawal symptom according to DSM-5 criteria is characterized usually developed leading to once some people stop this drug it has to mood change characterized by irritability, anger, and anxiety, difficulty with concentration, market change in appetite, and feeling restlessness, depressed mood, and difficulty with sleep initiation. Hallucinogens, this is a drug which is magic mushroom and LSD, and all these drugs and PCB, which is phenylcyclidine, and this drug, the main effect of it is to leading to euphoria, and the hallucination. Hallucination, as we say before, it is meaning that they can see something which is not present, they can feel something which is not present, they can say, uh, hear something which is not present, and all this hallucination which is common. Uh, another way of the substance use which is sedative, and these drugs leading to, uh, it is usually used for treatment of anxiety, and irritability but with the longer use it leading to dependence and the people cannot use so the substance using for anxiety cannot be used for longer period for using this for longer period and the sudden stopping for this drug can leading to seizures and several manifestations like insomnia irritability and of also seizures uh, the following are acute intoxication symptoms that if we are people taking much amount of drug like this, at least one of the following euphoria, this inhibition, this inhibited behavior, uh, apathy, sedation, abusive behavior and aggressiveness, uh, liability of mood, impaired attention, anterograde amnesia, impaired on psychomotor uh, performance and interference of personal functioning, unsteady gait, so people can be unsteady, staggering gait, difficult in standing, slurred speech, nystagmus, and decreased level of concentration, and sometimes there is petechiae or some red uh, part in the skin lesion. Withdrawal of symptom is usually typical symptom occur in withdrawal is insomnia and anxiety, increased autonomic activity, it means sweating, tremors, and hyper hyperesthesia, hypersensation, headache, photophobia, and withdrawal fits that can be occur and have to be treated. And for the first way for treatment, I have to reduce the dose. I have to first to switch for the people or for the drug with longer half foot, uh, half time, with so they have less withdrawal symptoms than shorter half time of benzodiazepine. Once I stabilize on the, this longer half time, I have to decrease the amount or the dose of this longer uh, half, uh, half time drug by 13% every few days or every week. And so I can decrease the amount 
until the I have to stop this drug safely. Another way of the drug which is steroids and this drug is used by many people, adolescents, especially in this to increase the bulk of muscle and in fact it can be affect several body of way. We have also inhalant or solvent, this substance which is lipid soluble and it can pass to the blood brain barrier very rapidly, can solve the plain which is main constitution of fat and leading to the more effect and manifestation sometimes like ataxia, uh, impaired concentration and due to their effect it can be contained or can this effect will be lasting for long period even we cannot control even with stoppage of drug. The course of the addiction is usually passing into stoppage of the addiction like remission or relapse and the outcome is usually chronicity, natural recovery, morbidity and death. How to stop or how to manage the condition? We have to manage the condition through residential or rehabilitation hospitalization and community. We start with detoxification stage in which we stop the medication or stop the substance he used and treat the symptoms with withdrawal symptoms. After that we using motivational enhancement therapies which increase the motivation to taking to stop the, this drug and we have increased uh, this motivation on the patient and so he cannot return again to his condition. And lastly psychotherapy for CBT, self-help group, and rehabilitation. Uh, this is an example of OSCE sheet when people who are facing an exam. If you are going in exam, usually we have to do these items. First is introduction. You have to introduce yourself to explain what you are doing, the history taking. You have to take the history taking, the current use, types, roots, amount, and the pattern, and criteria for dependence. You have to ask the 11 criteria of dependence for 12 months. And lastly, we have to assess for risk factors and review the past history of treatment of addiction that he treated before or no, and the effect on this addictive on his life, the future use does he usual or no, social and occupational stress, screening for depression you have to ask for, and elicit the idea concern explanation. Usually, patient global mark will be asking for his embassy and so, and the examiner question you have to answer for. Thank you for listening, and this is my contact for my any more question, and thank you.